Okay, hello wonderful people. Hi. Here's Bethany. Mm. Bethany would uh, ask me if she can have a tank in her in her bedroom. Yeah. She has a guppy tank in my fish room, but she'd like her guppies to be in her bedroom now. Because now you're old enough, aren't you? Mm. Or so you think. Yeah. To have a little fish tank in her bedroom. Mm. So, I've pulled out one of my 30 litres. Uh, for her, we've stuck a background on that she's picked. I've placed gravel in it. Um, yeah. I've placed a bubbler line in it for her uh, that she's picked out, and I've placed the heater in. What temperature did the heater need to be set at for your guppies? Twenty-seven degrees. Twenty-seven. Okay, so I'll make sure I've set it for twenty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Right. So there you go. Heater is set for around twenty-seven. That's all I'm going to do for now. I put the gravel in because that was heavy. Um, I put the heater in because, you know, it needs to be in, in a place. And she preempted and stuck a bit of weed or a bit of plant there to try and hide the heater. I'm now going to leave it to her. She's picked out some uh, fake plants. She's picked out a piece of wood and she's picked out some rocks. So we're now just going to leave the camera rolling because she would like to put her tank creation out there to show you guys. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, I'm literally just going to leave the camera going, focused yeah. on, on, on the tank, and uh, well, let's see what you do. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> I will be setting the sponge filters up for her. I've asked her to leave gaps for me in the two back corners so I can put them in. Um, because I can't put them in now. Can, why can't I put them in there? Can you remember? And it's because basically it, it doesn't have water in it. That's it. Well done. Yeah. So because there's no water in it yet, I don't want it to dry out and I, we don't want to kill off the bacteria, do we? So that's going to be the last thing we do once all the decorations are done, just before I go adding water. And then obviously I'll set all the airlines up and plug everything in for her. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to go make a coffee. And uh, leave you to decorate your own tank. If you need yeah. me, you can call me and I shall come and help. But other than that, okay. down to you, kiddo. Okay. All right? Okay. All right, let's see how she does.
Okay, so she did that super quick. Um, and I'm really impressed with that. Mm. Well done. I think that looks really nice. Um, so, yeah. Mummy is now going to put in the sponge filters. So I'm going to go get grab them, set up your airline, yeah. and then we'll put some water in it. Okay. And hopefully, that bit of wood has been, or that bit of bog wood has been uh, sitting soaking for months. Along with a load of others that I've got, I like to try and keep them submerged. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully, it won't bleed and well float. Yeah. We, we, we're hopeful, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Cross our fingers. <laughs> So, I'm going to go get sponge filters ready, set up our air loop system and whatever, or the airline system uh, for it. And then, and then yeah, then we'll start adding some water. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go do that then. Okay. Now, we are putting the water in. Water. Okay. Some water. What are you going to do? <laughs> okay. That's the water. Like the rain. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day. Okay, so that is Bethany's creation. Yeah. Two sponge filters inserted into the corner. She's got a light uh, underneath the piece of wood. And obviously they are the white lights. And then at night, it will change to that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I think, personally, you done a really good job there. So what we've got to wait for now is just wait for that water to settle, yeah? Wait for all the um, bits and bats in the water column yeah, and to then settle. We can, and, then we can put the fish in. and then later we're going to put the fish in. But right now, yeah. I've got a little surprise for you. Easy. Well, let's wait and see. Okay. See ya. Okay. We are at our local garden centre. That have has a fish store in it, don't it? Yeah. A fish section. And I said that as she done such a good job on her guppy tank, yeah. that she can get some new guppies today, because you only have two males, yeah. and I think there's around five or six females in there. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you some more males and more females, yeah. because what ratio should we have with our guppies? Uh, Can you remember? Boy, girl. Yeah, but how many boys should we have? More girls and boys, or should we have more boys than girls? Uh, I think more boys than girls, because, yeah. <laughs> you sure? Sure. No, we should have more girls than boys. Yeah. Okay, do you know why? Why? Because they pester, because otherwise all the boys will pester a few girls. So if you've got more girls than boys, yeah. then there's more girls to go around. Yeah, true. Yeah, and then, they, then one or two girls don't get pestered all the time. Yeah, so yeah? the rest of the girls don't get pestered. Well, yeah, but it evens it out, doesn't it? Yeah, true. Yeah. So, so we're going to go and do that. Uh, so, yeah, so let's go pick out uh, some more guppies for your guppy tank. Yeah. What we're going to do, um, in case anyone is concerned, um, obviously it's a, it's a new setup. Pre-cycled filters, so I'm not concerned about the cycle in the tank whatsoever. 
Um, but we are going to put your new guppies into your new tank, mm -hmm. aren't we? We're going to quarantine them off in there because obviously there isn't any other fish in there. Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave your original guppies in the fish room yeah. for a bit. Yeah? Yeah. To quarantine off the new ones in your new tank. Okay? Okay. Cool. Right, let's go do that then. Let's go. Let's go pick some guppies. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, we have just got back from the garden centre yeah. and you've bought some guppies, haven't you? How many girls did you buy? Six. Six. And how many boys did we get? Four. Four. Excellent. Mm. Can you remember? Yeah. Can you remember? How do you tell the difference between a boy guppy and a girl <laughs> guppy? So what, um, how do you tell the difference between a male and a female? Because um, the... Remember? First of all, the boy has longer fins and the girl mm -hmm. has small fins. And Generally, yeah. Basically, um, the boy has. Um, what is it called? You remember? I no, I can't remember. Gah. Gah. Um. <laughs> what does it look like? It's a stick. Whereabouts? On its, where it's like bottom fin is. Yeah, under its belly. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a stick, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, it's called its gonopodium. Gonopodium. That's it, well done. I forgot. <laughs> you forgot. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, we're going to go get these. Uh -huh, yeah, and we, we got, well, you got McDonald's all the way home. Yep. I don't, I don't really do McDonald's. I didn't fancy it. But McDonald's. we have one bag of fish. And, and we have two bags of fish. So we're going to go and get these settled in and acclimated. And then we will catch back with you when we are releasing said guppies yeah. into the tank. Um, because, you know, it should be absolutely fine. It was a pre-cycled sponge that was in there. The water was preheated before it went in. Yeah. So we should be good to go. But I will get back to you shortly. Let's go get these fish in. Yeah, let's go home. Oh, my car's beeping at me again. It beeps at me. It's constantly beeping. Honestly. Okay, they have acclimated. We've just taken the bags out of the tank. So we are just going to empty the water from the bags, pour them, pour the water away, because that's wastewater. Um, pop them into the net, and then Becky can release them so we're doing but looks right these are the girlies there we go right so six females yep Gently. They all out? Get them all out. Yep. Yeah. Yep, they're all out. Okay, so that's the girls. Let's go for the boys. Ooh. Oh, nearly got an elastic band to the eyeball then. Oh. Boing. Oh. Should be uh, four boys. There we go. Slip, four boys. <coughs> Same thing. <coughs> there we go. Yep, there's no Super. <coughs> oh dear. Okay, so there we go. Fish have been released. <coughs> Yay. Okay, so there we go then. There is Bethany creating her first ever guppy tank yeah. on her own, other than obviously heater, pump, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, did you enjoy that? Yeah. Do you like the way it's turned out? Yeah. Yeah, do you like the fact you got some new guppies? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're going to quarantine them off in here and then I will add, or we will add, your new ones once the quarantine's gone and everything's nice and settled and yeah hopefully you will get lots and lots of babies from them hey yeah okay so from me and her 
I'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. It was a journey. <laughs>